Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ross Becker. I'm Karen Carlson. Is your information safe? That's the question being asked as Utah's private clubs undergo an expected overhaul. If that law passes as expected, all of the bars are going to have to have ID scanners. ABC 4's Chris Van Oker took action in getting his hands on one of those electronic ID checkers, digging up some facts about them, and now showing us what it means for the safety of your personal information. ABC 4 News is being told that the ID scanners soon to be in 300 Utah bars were the idea of mothers against drunk driving. They actually wanted to have everybody that goes into a bar or a restaurant to order liquor to be scanned. Instead, scanners will only be in what used to be private clubs, and the only people ID'd will be those who appear 35 and under. But well, one concern about these scanners is how will people who appear 35 or younger feel about being ID? So, we took one of the new scanners up to the Capitol to make sure everyone there is legal. Some were amused. I want to make sure you're old enough to be up here, so I'm going to have to check your ID. <laughs> you're so awesome. Others, perhaps not so much. We want to make sure you're old enough to be up here, so I'm going to need to check your ID. But soon, all of the Capitol's creatures were asking us to check their IDs. Lobbyists, security, and even other media. And the sponsor of the bill says the goal... ...is a good balance between the old private clubs that we've just repealed and the idea of making certain that we have good control on alcohol in the state. The ID information collected in the scanners will not go to a central database as was once suggested. Instead, it will be kept in the machine for about seven business days until new names bump out old ones. And speaking of names, Chris Van Oker, ABC 4 News. And Utah will now become the first state in the country to require these scanners in all bars. And in case you're wondering, the scanners cost about $800 a piece.